First, what you're going to want to do is take your selection tool and select small pieces of the drawing. When they're selected, hold down the control key and use the arrow keys to move the area in the direction you want the glitch to go. The more you move and the farther you move them, the more glitched it'll look. Choose the pieces you move at random or else it'll look too structured. You can technically end there, but if you want more effects, duplicate the layer and lower the opacity, dragging it underneath your main layer. Move it over so it's visible underneath the glitched pieces. After that, duplicate the main layer twice and put two layers in between like you see in the video. Turn the layers to clipping group and fill them with contrasting colors like blue and red or pink and green. Now you have two discolored versions of your drawing. Turn the layer closest to the top to luminosity and drag it to the right to create a 3D effect, leaving the bottom layer normal. Merge those two layers and erase to the glitched part. Set the layer to lumi slash shade and merge them. Duplicate the main layer again and color over it with a neon green or pink. Drag that underneath and slide it over. Lower the opacity and merge again. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys can use this in some of your drawings, and thank you for watching.